She's fine. Well, let, we're going to say hello real quick. I hear the baby. My little girl, Maria. Hello. Yep, it's her feeding time, so we're going to let her say hi before we start. <laughs> Adorable. So that's the first grandkid. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, you ready to go back to Pop Pops? All right, here we go. Say see ya. <laughs> <laughs> So I heard, that, so did she interrupt something her, when she was born, Zeb? Uh, uh, slightly, yes. So we were supposed to perform at uh, Darnell Farms uh, that Saturday. And on that, for the day before on Friday, uh, my wife, uh, her, uh, broke her water. And so, yeah, we had to rush to the hospital, make sure she was okay. And yeah, but we still were able to make it to to uh, Dar Darnell, Farms, Dar Darnell yeah. Farms to perform. You did make it. We did. <laughs> I thought I watched that video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and you said that um, she kind of got interrupted. <laughs> she interrupted. Yeah, just, just uh, slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was she'll like, never oh, live that one down. We had all these people we knew, you know, coming from different states, and I thought, what are we going to do? You know, baby mm -hmm. came. We were supposed right. to be in Texas the day that she, that mm -hmm. when she went into labor at Willie Nelson's farm, and a storm had hit, so we could not go. So it worked out well. Worked out very well. She, nobody would have been here for her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, in Texas. yeah, she was supposed to be due the week after. It's like, oh, yeah, everything's going to work out, you know, great. And, it, you know, it still did, thankfully, but, yeah, it's just a little bit more... Uh, rushed <laughs> so she was kind of the saving grace though <laughs> yes it's <laughs> awesome so this is awesome this is like i'm so ecstatic about this we are because i you know like everyone else on social media um on tiktok you know you lay down at night you start scrolling kind of shut your brain off you just mm -hmm. start watching videos and then my man you just kept popping up and popping up and popping up but I couldn't find you anywhere on social media. I couldn't find your name or nothing. Because this was like, um, Mom, what what was it? It was like Ju July. July of last year, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I figured out, you know, you're part of the J Creek Cloggers. Yes, sir. And then, you know, I kept going down through Facebook and everything else. And then I was like, oh, that's his mom. I was like, well, I don't want to be creepy. But, gosh, I got to meet this guy. Because this <laughs> is you're dancing it's just so oh my it's so positive and just i it's a it's great like it's very influencing and and optimistic you know and i'm sure you hear that every from everybody uh it's from what i've heard it's it's all good news uh i've always loved to dance whenever i was young uh, my mom taught me the you know the basic dance moves and i've loved it so much i've been doing it ever since so mom started this, yes. correct? Yep. Yeah, I started. We'll be 14 years old as a team in June. Wow. So, yeah, being together. But, um, yeah, I grew up dancing in southwest Virginia is where I'm originally from, Scott County. And that's where Mother Maybell Carter was born with the Carter family, June Carter, who, okay. you know, later on married Johnny Cash. So they had a place up there called the Carter Fold. And wonderful freestyle flat foot buck dancing. Mm -hmm. And I would take the boys, even when I was pregnant with Zeb, I danced right up until the end with him and his brother both. So he was dancing before he was born. Yeah, that's what he tells yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my belly dancing, and he came out dancing. <laughs> he came out with boots on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ready to dance. And, and so's the little baby. Cause, oh, yes. Yeah. Because yeah. she's been dancing on the team, correct, for a while, your wife? Yes. Yeah. yeah, going on five years, I think. Yeah, we're celebrating five years together in October. <laughs> and you went to Nashville to pick her up. Did I get that right? In the... uh, close. Uh, so my wife was going to UT over in uh, no in uh, no Knoxville. And uh, me and my brother had went to a place called uh, Co Cotton Eye Joe's over there. I'm not sure if you've ever been there or not. No, but I think I've, I've heard this in a video or I read it in an article. Yeah, so I went there to learn some line dancing. You know, I knew how to uh, clog, buck dance, flat foot, but line dance was kind of new to me. It was like, well, and they were thankfully giving some lessons. Like, I'll go over there, we'll have a good time. 
and she just so happened to be there as well. And we we hit it off, and yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> That's just this. It's just amazing. Like your whole story, it's just so authentic, so genuine. I mean, I don't know. Been, well, it was been unreal when, when it happened. Um, it was you know a little over a year ago now. Mm-hmm. Uh, over there in Darnell Farms in Bryson City, and Jason Jordan, just a random person from Georgia we didn't know, took a video for TikTok, and he right. had not had TikTok. I didn't know what TikTok was Mm-mm. or Instagram. All I had was Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, whatever that thing's called. I don't even know what it <laughs> <laughs> whatever it's called. I don't. I didn't know anything about that. And you know, Jason Jordan did not have TikTok that long either. And. Right. They called me in the middle of the night. Well, your sons went viral as well as the dance team. I'm like, ah, oh, who's sick now? You know, I love this stuff. Virus, you know. And so they always tease me about it. And I thought, well, we, we either we either run with it, and I create accounts on Instagram, stuff I don't know right. about. We just let it die down. So I decided to run with it and bring my niece in, who knows social media, and a friend named Megan Kelly out of Virginia that knows the, the Twitter or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. And we set up accounts and went from there, and Eggs Tyrone blew us up on Instagram. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's just it's just crazy. So, like, your latest big thing was uh, the CMAs. So yes. how, how does that even come about? Do, I mean, do, does Peyton Manning just slide in your DMs like, like I did and say, hey? No, it, they actually called me, uh-huh. and I thought it was a joke. Couple of, you know, somebody called, and I'm like, well, when I get back to the house, I'll check my calendar. And then they called again. And then I realized it was real. So I started calling them back, you know, so we finally got in touch. I'm like, oh my goodness. Cause you, you know, you don't know what scams are, you, you know, right. you know, and I would have never thought the CMAs. I'm like, oh my goodness. No, no. Whenever they had first reached out, uh, I, I still work throughout the week on night shift. So my, my sweet mother here, she takes care of most of the phone calls, <laughs> thankfully, because if yeah. they had to call me in the morning, either I'm going to be a little, uh, well, I'll, I'd say if they tried to call, I'd, I'd still be uh, asleep. <laughs> right. But they had uh, reached out, and we went down the day before, got to meet uh, Pey- Peyton Manning, Luke Bryan, uh, some very sweet, down-to-earth people, and it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and it's something I'm, I mean, it's it's something I'm not going to forget uh, at any time soon. <laughs> oh, it, it was just, I, I seen it happen on, on TV, and I was just like, Oh my gosh. So like, you know, I reached out in July and, and your mother was like, uh, you know, he's got a really busy couple months, but after mm-hmm. that, it should slow down. We it thought. Didn't. It did. <laughs> we, thought. we really thought it did. You know, I thought this will go away in a couple of months. And if anything, it's, it's gained momentum, you know? Right. Uh, you thought it would kind of fizzle out a little bit, yeah. but it just, it just keeps... Well, he's going it's to be with uh, Brantley Gilbert, the country music artist. Uh, yeah, in about two weeks. In about two weeks, he gets to. They're having a really quaint. Uh, I forget the name of the event. April twenty second at Brimstone in Huntsville, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. But it's like a quaint gathering, and he gets to open it up at seven o'clock when it starts before Brantley takes the stage. <laughs> wow. Let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> and they How, did you them. ever imagine? Could, no. I, mean, I, I, I still can't. But like, like Mom said, whenever all this occurred, you know, I thought it might last a week or two. The co-workers found out. They were giving me chest bumps, high fives, the whole nine yards. Right. And, and here we are over a year later, and it's still going strong. So, yeah. And the team, the whole team, now they're flying good chunks of the team to Florida, Kansas, Illinois, Iowa, Michigan. All over. Um, all over. So the team has... You know, I would say the bookings are 75% the team involved and 25% people just wanting Zeb maybe to show up for something, right. you know. But, yeah, so it's it's just been unreal. The, we have minors on the dance team that are just loving it, you know. What a story they're going to tell oh, as they get older. <laughs> well, yeah, cause they're, and they're so intertwined with social media, too, you know. Right, yeah. The, the, yeah. And they're getting to meet people and see places across the United States. And I will say that... It's, it's done my heart well. I'd never flown until last year when Brian Kelly flew us to Daytona. Mm-hmm. He was part of the Florida, you know, Florida Georgia line. He mm-hmm. went out on his own, and that was my first plane trip. So, I, you know, but it's done my heart great because traveling everywhere, the people we've met are awesome. Oh, absolutely. Everybody, the fans, everything. You know, we, we didn't know what to expect when we would Yeah, you, you hear on the news there's 
you know, there's some great actors, great people out there, but how they are, you know, on a commercial or on, in a video right. compared to how they are in person is typically two different things. But we've not found that. Everybody at all. we have met so far has been very uh, helpful. Really? Uh, I've been very kind, and we've been very blessed. So yeah. it, it's been a, a great experience. That's that's just it's awesome. So with CMAs, so did Luke Bryan know you were going to hop up and dance? Because he he tried to play it off like he was surprised, and he was like, "No, uh -huh. no, no." So we had uh, rehearsed the day before of what I was supposed to do. Uh, they. Uh, they were supposed to play the uh, uh, Rocky, Rock, Top. Rocky Top song. Uh -huh. I was supposed to hop up and do my little thing. So it was rehearsed. But, of course, uh, we're big fans of Tennessee. And he is, sadly, there's no offense <laughs> to him, but he, he, he's, he's a dog's fan. Like, so it, it was rehearsed. But a lot of people thought it was intentional. It's like, I just can't take it anymore. Stop it. But oh, it, no. it, was, it was rehearsed, and it, it was planned. But the people down when they panned the audience's reaction, nobody knew they was taking that stage that was down below. It was a big surprise. It was just the people. Oh you know, yeah, it, it went to like the YouTube video. It goes to like Morgan Wallen. Yes. And, uh -huh. and like everyone was just so like tickled. And they knew who he was. That's what was cool because when he walked out, um, they had debated on we brought an orange polo mm -hmm. or the turquoise, and I'm like, you know what, the turquoise, everybody's going to know him as soon as he walks out on the stage. Right. And I was on the main floor down there towards the back, and they knew exactly who he was. You could hear the crowd, yeah. And which was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time he got nervous, he said. You know, he, they, they had him hidden back there so nobody would know, and he said he peeked out, and he was like, oh, crap, this place is full of people. And it was a full house. <laughs> <laughs> and when I peeked my head out, uh, they had the stage area, and they had the, uh, you had the main stage, and you had people that were actually uh, sitting, uh, at sitting down at the tables around the stage. You had yeah. uh, Alan Jackson, you had uh, the Zach Brown band, you know, a lot of well-known mm -hmm. people. And I was like, well, crap, I hope this goes well. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't trip on the stage. <laughs> yeah, and no, he, nobody knew he was, because I, I noticed him. I was filming, and I'm like, why is my kid up in the air? Nobody knew he was going to do a heel click jumping off the stage. I'm like, I hope he lands it. You know? Yeah, I, I figured if I tried to ask for a per, uh, per, uh, permission, mission, uh, they'd probably say, no, you should, you go, know, you could lay on somebody's table, hurt yourself. Right. Like, well, I'll just ask for uh, some uh, for for forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it worked that well. <laughs> that's that's awesome. That was like, oh, it was amazing seeing you up there because, like I said, I mean, all, like all of my friends, um, even I'm up in our studio right now. People come through here all the time and record podcasts like uh, back there. But, um, you know, I'll have like, there's a YouTube video of you that's like five minute loop mm -hmm. of, <laughs> I think, Darnell Farms. Um, but I'll, I'll have them make them watch it. I'm like, <laughs> that guy, like I'm obsessed with this because seriously, and you know, like I, I think I mentioned it to you in TikTok messages and then I mentioned it to your mom, like the m big mental health aspect, you mm -hmm. know, people rely on, on social media, their phone, different platforms to kind of shut their mind off and go into this little, you know, you know, like metaverse in a way. And then just to see you, your, I mean, your hair, you got to hear that. Like your hair is, yeah. you, you can't I cut like. it. <laughs> you know, if you cut it, they're, they're not inviting you back to the CMAs. <laughs> probably no, not. no, probably not. That's funny. They're like, they're not going to know who you are. <laughs> now, believe it or not, I've only had long hair for the past four years, maybe. Before. I've seen a picture with short. Mm -hmm. So for most of my life, it's always been short, but I've always loved long hair. So there's yeah. one year, it's like, well, I'll give it a try. And the longest it ever was, it was actually halfway down my back uh, a long, long time ago. And it actually got long enough where I could give it to uh, weeks for kids. So oh, yeah. chopped it off, donated, and we're doing it yeah. all over again. Yeah, but it's just all of it, man. You're you're just, you're just happy. You're like this big ray of sunshine. And your hair's going, and you're just <laughs> not a care in the world. And it's just like, man, people need to see that. And now everyone's seeing it. So they are. I said it, it's a blessing. Uh, 
if, if I could, I'd meet all the fans that I've ever watched that video, I would. I'd love to give them just a handshake, a big old hug, right. take a picture together. And, you know, it's it's amazing how many people enjoy watching what we, we've been doing for most of our lives. Yeah. We've been together you know, 14 years, but all this happened the past year, and it's just been surreal. It's been amazing, and I hope we do get the chance to meet all the fans that enjoy watching us. Me too. Oh, it, it would be... You know. I, I'm definitely going through the dates on your on Jay Creek cloggers, and I, well, I know I work on the 22nd. So in about two in about two weeks, we'll have our own website, which will have everything contained from social media handles to you know the calendar, nice. videos, upcoming, upcoming events. events. We've got a YouTube channel now Good deal. that we'll be doing some tutorials on and stuff. So just like all kinds of. Spot. Good stuff that's coming, yeah. We're trying to get the website side will have everything contained on one page. That'll make it easier for people. If they right. want to go to Instagram, they'll know where to go or mm -hmm. to YouTube or for merchandise, stuff like that. And convert it over to an app yeah. as well. And yeah. Then, yeah. I mean, you could do... So it's, but, you know, when uh, we had to become an LLC when all this happened. Mm -hmm. We had to learn about merchandise, lawyers, contracts, you know, so the whole nine yards. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a process. We've had to learn a lot along the way, but it, it's been well worth it. Oh, I bet. Yeah. So how much longer do you think you can uh, continue working in the factory? <laughs> uh, it's, it's one of those things where... I, I was raised, and I, and I love to work. You know, you, you right. want to provide for your family. You want to provide for your country. Absolutely. Uh, I've also been at my place since ever since I was 19, so going mm -hmm. on 10 years. So between the vacation, uh, I get three, three weeks vacation right now, and plus the uh, insurance, which is a big thing, right. especially with yeah. the girl now. Uh, I plan on working there for as long as I can. Uh, I love the company. I love the people. And uh, I'm supposed to give a shout out to my boss man, uh, J J Joey Riddle, because evidently I, I don't bring up his name enough. So, hey, Joey. <laughs> is, is he part of, uh, I think I saw Men's Day Wednesday? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's actually my uh, boss man at work. Uh, we call him the Grinch. Okay? He'll walk by. Uh, we, we say he has uh, good days, bad weeks. Sometimes we'll walk by and smile. Other days we'll just scowl at you. But hey, he's a really nice somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're welcome, Joey. I feel I feel like you're trying to either get out of trouble at work or just get some brownie points. Well, there, well, typically I get fired there at least uh, once a week from him. So it, it, <laughs> you just dance it off <laughs> right I'm on the building. Well, I'll either dance or I'll give him some some food on the way there, and it, it works out pretty well. <laughs> So yeah. what was what was uh, Men's Day Wednesday then? I, I it was uh, on a video. Yeah, so there was uh, there was a very sweet fan who had uh, wrote us a uh, a, a le letter, and it happened to be on a Wednesday. And uh, right. at work, we always have a saying for all the days of the week. So there's a Fun Day Monday, Blues Day Tuesday, uh, Men's Day Wednesday. Uh, hurt day and uh, hurt day Thursday. <laughs> but the, when the fan wrote that letter, I received it on a Wednesday, so it just kind of went with it. Men's day Wednesday. <laughs> We've got something um, big coming up. We're gonna. We did a meet and greet last year, a few months after we went viral in Maggie Valley at the stomping grounds, just to see. You know, we wanted to meet some of the fans, and we had a big outpouring of fans then. But mm -hmm. we were only three months viral at that point. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do it, um, what is it, June, June 3rd? Yes, that's June right. June 3rd this year, we're going to have another meet and greet, and we're going to bring in our friends, the Mile High Band, who's a local high-energy rock and roll, 80s rock, and country. They're very good. They're very good. Really? So we're going to do it June 3rd from 1 to 3 at the Stomping Grounds in Maggie Valley. So it'll be part of us. Well, mm -hmm. we'll be performing, and Seb too, and then the Mile High Band, so we're going to combine it all. So okay. we hope people really come out for that. Okay. You too. Yeah. And, and yeah. If you, yeah. Like, you know what? So um, I actually, I paramedic. I've been in public safety for uh, since high school. But so I paramedic every fourth day for 24 hours. Um, and then on all my days off, I play with cameras and microphones and stuff in here. So um, I'll check my calendar. And if I'm not paramedic and 
I would love to come down there. Oh, come and down and yeah, you can. It's gonna be a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, it's on a Saturday. It, and if you if you don't mind, I will bring cameras. Oh, go right ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Do some fun. video. Do some photos. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll be your little media guy for the day. Oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. We'll take it. Thank you. That way yeah. people, it's sort of a place um, we'll open the do doors early to where they can talk to us. The performances will happen from 1 to 3, and then mm -hmm. afterwards we hang around a little bit where people can take pictures and, yeah. you know, just get to know us. We like, yeah. to, we like to interact with people. And I, that's why, it, that is like why you're still going up, 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 because you you you're still so humble and genuine and you care about the people that are reaching out to you of course and that just goes like so far you know well, for us you know we we love to dance we love to get on the stage and just bring joy and smiles and just share what we love to do but we also do uh, some uh, uh, line dancing so we actually get the audience up on the stage with us, and sometimes they know it, they've heard it before, it might be a first time, but uh, for us, it's one thing to watch somebody enjoy themselves, but they, if they can actually be a part of the show, it, it just seems to bring it home a lot better. It does. Well, I tell you what, you, you kind of got me at line dancing because... <laughs> you like line dancing? I actually, it's been years ago, but... Um, where I'm at in Richmond, Indiana, we're downtown Richmond, just northeast of here in Ohio, there's a uh, country bar out in, just out in the road outside of town called the Triangle. And um, growing up, you can go in there when you were 15. You just got like a different hand stamp. Yes. But it was, it was country all night long. And we did like the barn dance, the renegade, sweetheart shotish. And then, um, you know, line dancing all night. Uh, but I could probably brush it back up a little bit. You still got it. Yeah. I, I, I think I remember doing the Cotton Eye Joe. And, yeah, um, yeah there's a handful of the them. Cupid Shuffle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chop, chop, slide. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to get some new boots for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get them now and break them in before the break event <laughs> yes yes we're going to be in uh, illinois i know coming up uh really july, yeah yeah july 25th for the lucky horseshoes minor league baseball game yep really yeah so we'll be there and wow. then we're in michigan i think at the eastern market sometime okay. in july june july i think it's july. july yeah yeah i get my dates all mixed up yeah in kansas it's just everywhere Wow. Will you be flying to Illinois and Michigan? Yeah, we'll be yes. flying, and then we'll be flying. in Iowa also. Okay. Clyde, I think, Iowa. Yeah. That's somewhere up north. Right. That's all I know. Or, yeah, north and into the west, yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> above us, that's all I know. Yeah, it's above, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll have to send me those dates, and then I'll yeah. check it out. Cause yeah. I'll, you know, anywhere you're at, you know, I'm in Indiana. That's not far. It's and awesome I can, far at all. No, no yeah. not at all. I Actually, I had it on the calendar to come down there. For one of your events um, last fall, um, but we couldn't make it down there. Um, we've got yeah, yeah we've got a bunch bunch coming up. We took April off. That's why we've not been doing a whole lot because of the baby. But mm. we start back, I think May the fifth, and I forget what it is right off. Oh, Silverado's in Black Mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we're in Pigeon Forge and Towns in Tennessee, and then it just keeps going. Wow. for most of the year <laughs> yeah. yeah but you were asking about my work uh i'll actually be taking some uh, fmla from mid-may to about the first week of august so i'll be taking off about three months roughly uh i talked to my hr because you know first time dad i wasn't sure how much time we were allowed right. he said 12 weeks I was like well that'd be, be a great time to spend time with my wife and family and at the same time do a little bit of dancing so it, it's a win-win that that's awesome, and and the baby's, the baby's gonna love it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Same she, here. She looked she looked like her mom a lot, but when I looked at her just a little bit ago, she looks a whole lot like Zeb now. So she's sort of going back and forth between. She's transitioning. Like yeah, she's. Hey, I, I, I she get her mom's good looks, but bless her, she she might have mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and your dance moves. Mom's good looks and your dance moves. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but, yeah. 
But, you know, we're, um, but I, what I tell people when we go around, when I started the team, I homeschooled both of my boys. Okay. So I got them, you know, I wanted to create the team. I love dancing anyway. But here in Haywood County, they had a group of cloggers back in, like, 1939, the Soco Gap cloggers that went to dance for FDR in the White House. Oh, they were wow. asked to come. He got the king and queen of England. They were going to Canada, and he wanted to stop to talk to them about Germany and what was going on with Germany mm -hmm. at the time. And that's the only time they've ever visited. And the, the clogging team came from this county and got to dance in the really? White House. Yeah. So we're, we're trying to keep that. And they were a freestyle dance team, which means their footwork, they were in beat, but their footwork was all different between buck dance, flat footing, whatever. But they were all okay. in rhythm. And that's what we're, we're trying to continue to do. Plus, we're adding, a, adding different steps into and mm -hmm. making it fun, you know. Um, young people love it. They can get out there and... We've introduced them to the Charleston and some type of like a shuffling, shuffling. sea walking. Yeah, hillbilly. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> I think you said, I, I watched one of your videos. You said you add sea walk to the. Uh, well, that's what they named it. He, I didn't even know what a sea walk was. I, I didn't know They either, started sad. giving him that title, and I was like, well, what is that? No, I, you know, my mom taught me the basic uh, footwork when I was younger, and then from there, you just kind of watch others and if there's a movie like like well i'll ask them see if they can teach me how they do that right and then there's sometimes you know you'll just be thinks like well i wonder if i try this move and you make it up and if you like it, you keep it but uh somebody said it looks very similar to a crip walking which i had heard before but i wasn't really sure what that was so i looked it up and sure enough it is uh it, it, it's very it similar similar yeah wow it's funny how all these moves get combined. And I tell my, my team, I'm like, everybody has their own dance and as personality. And that's what I tell them. Whatever you want to do, as long as you're in rhythm, you know. And so we're, we're a freestyle dance team. And it's fun to watch the young people. Um, oh, I bet. There. Yeah, because without them, this would, would die off. You know, we're, we're considered right. a Americana now in what we do. So, right. yeah. Passing on the torch. Yep. Yep. Somebody's <laughs> got to do it. <laughs> so do you still practice in the garage? Is that where the team still meets? Or? Yeah. Yeah. When we're able and we're, we'll have a practice this month. Yeah. And we, we get together. We love to eat. We're from all different backgrounds of life, but I said we eat like Baptists. <laughs> so <I'll tell laughs> sure everybody would eat a lot. <laughs> we love who to cooks? Who, who, who makes everybody. the food? Everybody, okay. we're all Southern cooks, you know. We have one guy that's uh, with us now who uh, went to Louisiana and got gator meat. So he's going to wow. fry that's up some eat. gator meat, and we're going to throw some Southern stuff with it and just have a big cookout. Wow. Yeah. Look forward to it. Yeah. I bet you're experiencing all sorts of foods now, traveling. We are. We are. And uh, one of the best places I've actually eaten at, which actually surprised me. Uh, now, I love mom's cooking. I love my wife's cooking. I, I, of course, I got to say that right. You're not going to. You're not going to say anything different right now, Zeb. Uh, some of the some of the best food I've ever had was actually out west. Uh, me and my wife actually went to uh, Seattle, and okay. I'm not typically big fans of big cities. I was just raised in the woods, country life. But mm -hmm. man, oh man, that seafood out there, uh, crab, lobster being right next to the water. Uh, they had uh, sloppy joes, and everything I ate there was amazing. I, I definitely go back and check it. Wow, nice. Yeah. But you and you just go burn the calories right off anyway. So yeah, so I, I love the dance, but I love food more. So the food typically stick, it sticks around a little bit more than it should. <laughs> yeah, we're all yeah. When we're done dancing, it's like, where are we going to go eat? You know, we're always hungry. So now I'm starting to tell people that hire us, look, you got to give us a meal as soon as we come off the dance or some floor. Snacks we can, or something. Yeah, something. <laughs> Get my sugar back up. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Because we at Darnell Farms, we put on a two hour show, you know, mm -hmm. and that's us running the show. I'm up there usually the majority of the time talking, plus coming off the floor dancing. So, you know, and we like to educate people on the history and get them involved in everything. Because we love, like I said, we love people. And uh, we have usually good participation. They'll jump right in wanting to learn. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Like, I, I haven't even tried any of your moves yet. I'm well, if like, you come June 3rd, you'll have to. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to wait till I'm next to the expert himself. Oh, yeah. Before I roll an ankle. <laughs> 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 and you know that, and it is. There's something that I, I was looking back in videos when I was younger, and I've 
did the ankle rock and all that way back in the day. And there, I, I don't know. To, to me, it's not that hard, but I could see where you could sprain an ankle easy if you, if you did too much. If you put too much weight on one side or the other, you could break your ankle. Mm-hmm. You know. So that's, isn't that the big secret is like you, you're – you it's your core. Shift your weight real fast to shift, the yeah, and it's holding your stomach. It's, it's a lot of core, you know, holding it in, holding your stomach in good, and just having bent knees is a lot of it. You can't do it with stiff legs. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to learn to relax. To, to, you know, just like anything else, if you're planning to get tar seen, and if you're very tense, it, yeah, you'll, you'll definitely make more mistakes that way. Yeah. But if you just enjoy what you're doing, and, and if you do mistake, or if you do yeah, make a mistake, it happens, it just go. I it. laugh about it. I mean, I've fallen down. I've had my I have to. petty pants fall off. I've, you know, it's yeah. like, okay, what do I do now? Just strike a pose. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. yeah, you know, so we just get up. My husband, who's, well, he's asleep over here now on the couch. But, you know, Are we that boring? Fall down. Yeah, he, he's, he actually um, leads all the square dances uh, most mm-hmm. of the time. So he's been okay. dancing since he was five years old and got to go to England and actually dance for the Queen when he, I think he was 18. Wow. Way back in the day. He's 65 now, so yeah. So. You shouldn't tell my age. I'm telling your age, yeah. Oh, you woke him up. Yeah, he's, he's awake. <laughs> he heard his name. He heard That's right. his name. Yeah, yeah. He's tuned into that. When he hears me say his name, he's like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> right. <laughs> what I forget to do. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know. I just, I love you guys. Like I've watched your videos over and over and over and, and it's funny. Um, all the different songs, people keep dubbing over it. It is that I think that's the most fun part because everybody's like, you were dancing to I'm a thug by trick daddy. I said, no, we had banjo and fiddle music. You're like, I'm a what? By who? I was like, wait a minute. That was back in the 80s. Yeah. But it's really cool because all these songs, it works. It's like whatever song you put with it, it sort of works, you know. That's, <laughs> and that's funny because I think on TikTok, a young lady sent you a dance and it was like really impressive and wanted you to reenact it. Mm-hmm. Um, and you did. And you're like, oh, that was my best version. But man, yeah, it was like right on point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Too. So it's yeah. Yeah, it's it. You know, I, I love my style of dance and my dance moves. But it, it's also fun to try something different. Uh, there's there's several videos I haven't uh, attempted yet, but they'll tag me as like, hey, could you try this? And there's some of those. There's some of those like, yeah, I'll give it a try. And there's others like, good gracious, if I tried that once, I, I may, I may. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be on FMLA for a while. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun just to see people, you know, I, I may not be as good as that person, but it's still fun to at least try and, and make a good effort. Yeah. If nothing, oh, else, it, if nothing, else, it, 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 if nothing else, it gives me a good laugh at myself. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, it, and that's why people love you, because just because you're that way, it's not. Well, and we've got to work with several, uh, Brandon Bing, Nitty Gritty Greg Roberts, mm-hmm. Big Smo, Ryan Charles. So we've been in several videos after we went viral, and um, on the Big Smo one, and Greg Roberts, Clap Your Hands is the name of it, we mm-hmm. actually came up with the choreography for that line dance. Okay. That's part of that song now. So we're we're dipping our toes into that arena doing line dances, you know, for, for videos and mm-hmm. we we've just had the best time. We but, really have. Yeah. We, we and that's have. what it's about, is just loving what you're doing. You and know? I tell him you know, Zeb he plays the guitar as well as my husband, so he also does that and can sing some and my husband sings. So we're gonna start adding that into some of the shows, letting them bring out their guitar and play a little there too. You go. Yeah. There you go. You'll be on the CMAs next year for performing <laughs> <laughs> it, with the guitar. Uh, if, if they do, I hope they provide everybody with some uh, earplugs. Ear no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I've watched your videos of you playing. You're good. Uh, yeah, we, I, I, I'm definitely a lot better with my feet than I am with my hands, but it, it's still fun. I enjoy hey, it. Yeah. It's all about comfort zone and getting out of it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. That's, that's what it is. Um, gosh, I don't know. I just, I can't thank you guys enough for real. Cause you know, I mean, I know me and mom, we talked uh, a couple days ago on the phone and you know, I was telling her, you know, that I've been through some, some dark times and, uh, 
you know, just just being able to d- grab my phone, then I see you dancing and hear all the different versions of music. Like, it's it's a game changer. Like, it, it just kind of, it's kind of like, you know, people wave at, you, you, you wave at everybody because you don't know who's, like, really freaking struggling and all yeah. they might have needed that day to just even stay alive was just somebody to wave at them, say hi, check on them. <laughs> well, that- you know, so it's... And, and that that's what you're teaching people is like, you know, you don't have to really go out of your way to help people. No, it's uh, I was always raised from my mom and dad to uh, treat treat others as you'd like to be treated. Grace, step I got that treated. <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, so, yeah. you know, uh, sometimes all it takes is just to wave at somebody, just share a smile. And, you know, of course, we always have our uh, good, good and bad days as well. You know, sometimes after a long week of work, you're just not in a good mood. But right. at least for me, whenever I get on the dance floor and just cut up and have a good time, all of that just goes to the back of my oh, mind, good. and I, I just enjoy myself. Well, that and, you know, we're post-COVID now, and human touch is a lot, too. And when mm-hmm. people come out on the oh, floor, my gosh, yes. they, you know, we hold hands and we do our circle of friendship and fellowship, and we teach them these moves, and... People love it. You know, just the contact, the smile, the, the talking to people and taking the time, a hug. We hug we're huggers. Mm-hmm. We hug everybody. Oh, and same. people are very open to that. We don't have anybody that shies away from that. They you know they Especially can't. after COVID when you went yes. so long with yeah. you know, yeah. can't even can't right. even fist bump and right. during COVID. Right. You know? right, yeah. So we you know, people love that and we encourage we, we had a couple of events, they were like well, we'll put up something where people can't get up to you. I'm like, no, we oh, want we people that. to come up to us. Don't put up barricades around the floor. Right. Uh, we want them to come up. That's that's part of what we do. So, and we hope we yeah. can always do that. Well, and and like, so I was um, up until probably about right at the time you went viral. Um, I was at a fire department here uh, as a paramedic firefighter. And then things just got dark, and um, COVID, we are like, towards the end of COVID. And it, you get to the point where it's like, it, it, as a paramedic, as a person on my day off, I, you know, you get to the point where it's like, I'm probably just going to take the risk and hug somebody today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I feel like, you know, that isolation. Oh, uh, it's, it, yeah. It, it's it, the mental health. The, the, all the, the, the suicide rates, the, the suicidal ideation, depression, all that stuff with people across the world um, it just goes up so high to the point yeah. where it's a higher risk than getting COVID. Well, yeah, I agree. We, I think I shared a story on the phone with you. We had somebody, I think it was from California, that reached out to me yeah. through Instagram direct message. And it was a young gentleman who really was on the verge of suicide and I happened to see the comments come through you know or it was a direct right. message and I answered him back and he he said that he was watching our videos and that he saw you know we were smiling having fun out doing our thing and he said that he he knew there was still good in the world you know and laughter and mm-hmm. fun and he he ended up not committing suicide so mm-hmm. that was huge I said if this has all been for one thing and it was that one thing then it was well right. worth it. well like and this is why I'm not live streaming this right now and everything else, because I wanted to talk personal yeah. stuff because I feel like, I mean, you've done a lot more for me than you can imagine um, because I've kind of been down that route. And uh, a couple of years ago, I got hit with the PTSD, anxiety, all the labels, put off work, had to go to therapy end up leaving quit I just quit work altogether and played with cameras um, went to therapy but then I kind of got into uh, drinking a whole lot more and um, you know because like in public safety in that industry uh, cops firemen policemen or uh, EMTs paramedics alcohol is huge (laughs) (laughs) and it's sad but that's like the quick coping mechanism you know and uh, so I went down that path you know, and once you, once you're numbing it, you know, because like, you have a bad week, you dance, mm-hmm. you smile, you de-stress. Well, you know, a lot of us, we 
drink and socialize and, and drink to socialize because it takes your anxiety down, but then mm -hmm. it's actually messing everything up. Then you go down that path to instant gratification and you hurt people, you say things you don't mean. It's just mm -hmm. it, a, a whole whirlwind, but so it, it's, it is very refreshing to like just get on social media, see you guys dancing and then realize like, man, they are, are they're extremely happy. They're not sloppy drunk. They're not out making bad decisions on Friday nights. Um, so it's just, uh, it's, it's very inspiring. Um, so I, since then, I, you know, I started paramedicing again over, uh, on the other side of Indianapolis, uh, every fourth day and, um, got my mojo back with that. And, uh, a lot, a lot of the problems here were like, I was taking care of people I knew really well. Um, I was seeing holes in people's heads that I knew I was, you know, uh, yeah, that's hard. Or, or I was narcanning people I knew, yeah. um, family. Um, stuff like that. So yada, yada, I just didn't cope with it right. I didn't deal with it well. And I went down the bad, took the bad road instead of going straight to uh, therapy and more exercise. And, you know, because we can always say, like, you know, do this, this, and this, and you'll be healthy and everything. But when you're in that position, you're in denial or, you know, or you're just accepting it for what it is and mm -hmm. not doing it right. But um, but since then, yeah, so I started paramedic and again, um, cause I love that. Um, I love meeting somebody on their worst day and telling them my best joke. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, the smile. I, yeah. Yeah. Every, like, you know, you go to start an IV and you're like, uh, you know, I'm like, I watched this on YouTube one time. I think I can do it. But <laughs> <you're> <laughs> like, in, oh re <laughs> in reality, I've been doing it since 2005. So. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> or like we got a new cot system. I don't know if you've seen the back of it. Hopefully you've never had to ride in the back of an ambulance. Uh, so far, no. <laughs> Good. But like the cot, it used to all be manual. And some of them are where you got to actually hold it up to pull it out and everything else. But mm -hmm. now it's like a slide track system. Oh, wow. So you can, and it's electric. So I'll pull on it. And then I'll just be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> they think they're going to fall. <laughs> but in reality, it's like, just slowly slides. To do? <laughs> I mean, I probably know where I'm going in the afterlife, but. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's hilarious. Oh, my God. But you so, can bring a smile, you know. Yeah. And that's what, it, that's what it's all about. That's what I tell him. We just to smile. And, and we have about 25 on the dance team. And. Some of them have been with me for the 14 years. Oh, he's popping his neck again. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Some of them have been with me for the whole 14 years. We've had yeah. one little girl. We've had her since she was two. two and she's, uh, we've had her 10 years now. Wow. So, yeah, Damn. I'm just proud of our young people for putting the electronics down and coming out. Right. And, you know. And, and finding their finding their coping mechanism before they have something to cope right. with. Yeah. And learning how to socialize, you know, cause a lot of people uh -huh. are, they're so hooked on electronics. They don't know how to socialize in person. They don't know how to do, no. you know, and, and it's nice that they put it down cause they're learning social skills and all kinds of good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You were talking about, uh, uh, m m mental health, uh, Something for me, which is a, a surprise to most people, uh, you know, I'm a very happy-go-lucky person, but I've always been high-strung for most of my life. You know, uh, you know, there's some days I can talk just fine, others not so much. It, it, I, I tell most people I talk a lot better with my feet than I do with my mouth, and we just we just do the best from there. But yeah, even on uh, good days, like you said, it's nice to. It's nice to have something to cope with, whether it's uh, taking a walk outside or doing, uh, you know, just go. Uh, some people love to go to work just to get their mind off of everything. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, for me, it's, you know, playing the guitar, dancing, and uh, definitely trying to be more social. I've, you know, I try my best to, you know, 
talk, and in about two weeks, I'm the uh, opening act for uh, Brantley Gilbert, and yeah. def- and we're def- you know I'm very excited, but at the same time very nervous because like I said I, I I enjoy dancing and I enjoy talking, but sometimes the talking doesn't go as planned. So right. yeah, so we'll just see what happens, but you know you just push forward, try your best, and that's all you can do. Oh, absolutely, yeah, and I mean at the end of the day, you have to think about what's healthy for you mm-hmm. and Absolutely. I mean uh, I was uh so tomorrow is like 14 days off alcohol for me oh and, congratulations uh, and it, well thanks but it's not I went longer before but I'm like I'm done and it, it's just it's funny how things happen because mm-hmm. I'm a firm believer in karma so I feel like when you start making not the greatest decisions not the greatest things happen mm-hmm. <laughs> But like yesterday, or uh, what day did we talk? Thursday, I think, okay. on the phone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. so Thursday, it, w- it was just funny because uh, with, the, with the business and everything else, as soon as I start acting right, get my stuff together, don't drink, um, really cool things start happening. So like an hour before I got to talk to you, um, one of my... Uh, clients uh, owns a lot of uh, a franchise of gyms and um, he cl- calls me he's like hey can you make a video Cause, I mean I do a ton of videography but for all kinds of random projects and he said I have a gym in Connecticut that I need a- I need some video done he said if I fly with you fly there get your hotel room and, and how much will it cost yada and I told him and Next thing you know, I got email reservations for first class to Connecticut. Oh, wow. Just random stuff. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> That's here cool. we go. And then I get to talk to you. And it was like all in one day, like all these really cool things happen. Oh, so That's cool. Well, we'll be, like, you talked about Connecticut. We get to go to Rhode Island, I think, this mm-hmm. year in September. I've never year. been that far up north myself. But they say okay. Rhode Island is really pretty and it'll be in September. So I'm hoping the leaves will. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I'm excited about getting that far up north. Nah, we're going Love to, to go Hartford, to I believe. A Hartford, yeah. And I can't. Yeah. It's the mass mass quick quick or so. I can't say it. It's some festival. It starts with an M. It's got a long name. I'll say if if you can, I, I definitely I cannot can. say that name. But it's a festival in September up there um, that we're supposed to be going to. So I'm excited about that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And we're getting Very to see the United cool. States. You know, that's what's nice. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And you're, you're, you're not having to pay to go on vacation. Right. And that's, which that's is, yeah, which is nice. And we get to meet different groups of people yeah. and teach them dance. And, you know, um, a lot of people have never heard of square dance, flat foot clog, and nothing. And now they do. And not only here, but across the world. We have a huge following in France and Switzerland and all these other places oh, now. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's that's just unbelievable. Yeah, so we're excited about that. <laughs> we really are. That's that's unbelievable. I've talked to people. They ask me like about my vacations. You know, everyone. I feel like everyone. You're expected to go on like three vacations a year or something on to Florida or whatnot. <laughs> yeah. I, I've never done that. I've We've only never done that. One, one, one typically. Yeah. Once. One, yeah. once yeah, I mean, a year, you know. Yeah. And now it's like we get vacations two and three times a month now going to different states. <laughs> and, and it's it's already funded, you know. That's and it is. that's what I tell people yeah. as like an entrepreneur, I'm like, I'm not going on vacation unless I'm getting paid to go on vacation. Yeah. It's a write off. <laughs> yeah, well, you're you're right. Yeah, yeah. It was, there's just been so much we had to learn and I was drowning there for a long time, keeping my head above water, but I think I'm in a good, because I do all the bookings, I talk to people, I'm the first yeah. person they talk to, want to make sure that with the dates open and all that before we go any farther with stuff, Absolutely. you know. Yeah, so it's a lot easier if one person's involved in the beginning, and then we can, you know, if it's a go, then I have other people they talk to after mm-hmm. that, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I bet you get some crazy requests. <laughs> yeah, there was. Uh, yeah, he's got a good one to yeah, tell Yeah, there was one. Uh, it was sometime last year. Uh, a person reached out and asked if I could draw something for them. They said they wanted to relate to something that I uh, like to do. Uh, there was a game called a Crash uh, Band uh, ba- ba- uh, Bandicoot. 
And it was okay. on the uh, B, the uh, P PS1 way back in the day. And there was a little, uh, it was a plank of wood with four, four feathers on its head, and it was called Aku Aku. And ever since I was a kid, I just loved that little character. Okay. So I, I drew it as best I could, and I sent it to him. And he said, it looks great. I'm going to get this tattooed on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> it, it turns out the guy was reaching out to uh, other people that he liked, and he had a section on his leg, and it didn't matter what you drew, that's what he was going to get tattooed. I was like, well, bless his heart, I am not a good artiste by any stretch of the means, so I hope the guy doing the tattoo is a lot better than, <laughs> than I was. <laughs> but I mean, it was just... Uh, Amazing! Wow. It, was, it was just crazy. Like, okay. So did he did he send you a picture of a tattoo? Not yet, but I, I would love to see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's just that's crazy. That's, that's it cool. Is. Yeah, and we've gotten fans have sent us all kinds of cool T-shirts or beverages or whatever. We never know what's coming in the you know mail. Um, I've had some odd stuff come, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I've actually got something. I'll be right back. Oh, have you got something? Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Come here, Terry. Let me show you. I'm going to let my husband let you. He does all the square dance calling for the dance team, but this is my doing? husband, Terry Woody. Hi. Hey, how are you, buddy? So he, I'm doing good. When you see all of our routines that we do, uh -huh. he's the one that's usually calling out what we're supposed to do as we go through each routine. Okay. And everybody listens, yeah, so it's like an auctioneer calling out stuff. So. <laughs> but that's, yeah, this is Zeb's stepdad. Okay, very cool. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen, and, uh, seen him all over the Facebook. And yeah, he likes to get out and twist yeah. a little when he dances. And, yeah. <laughs> Take the spotlight off Zeb. He does. Yeah. Oh, what is that? We've okay. had a lot of fun. Good I'll deal. I'll back in here. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get all on camera. <laughs> Okay. So we actually got this in the mail today. There was a fan who reached out to say if they could send us something. So I gave him the address, and it's a little uh, bl a, blanket. Uh, blanket for our little baby. So he got a piece of blanket in the yeah. mail. That was sweet. <laughs> yeah. That's it's sweet. Actually handmade as well. So. Yep. That's Very beautiful. Cute. They sewed it. Yeah, that was pretty. So yeah. we're always getting all kinds of Just stuff. Nice I mean, dress. nice stuff. Yeah. So it's well, been. Well, I mean, you you changed you know the world the lives of many you know. Well, it's just, so. it's just been it's been fun to to see the whole dance team you know. Um, uh -huh. When all this happened, like Zeb said, without a team, he's he's nothing you know. He's got the the whole dance team, and it, he wants it about the team and. Of course. You know, he happened to be Absolutely. the one that went viral. You know, but all it's right. a, it's a group effort, and so far we stuck together and we're having fun. Yeah, it. It, yeah it, it's a lot more fun to work as a team than just uh, by, by, uh, by, by yourself. Oh, I bet. I mean, because I, I, like that very first video that went viral, you, I could see it like in your face, in your body language. You feed off each other, like the energy. We do, we do. You know, if you're by yourself the whole time, you, you probably would not be as enjoyable. Now, and, and it's funny because when we're out there dancing, we know the crowd's out there, but we forget too because we all like to pick on each other as we dance. And I know my husband had done something one day just to tick me off, and I forgot we were live in front of a crowd, and I hauled off and hit him. You know? I was like, you need to quit. You know, I'm like, oh, crap. We're in a live event. <laughs> or the time that Zeb, and he's going to kill me for telling, passes gas as we're having to do circle ups, so we're all having to go around going, oh, you know. I was like, don't hold your nose. We're in a live yeah, performance. So, uh, if, if, awesome. if, we're going, if we're going to a place... Uh, <laughs> There's uh, back in the day we used to uh, compete in uh, com in uh, com Competition. competitions, uh -huh. and you know we we're all you know little tense, you know, been trying to work hard, and I would intentionally eat uh, beans the day beforehand. <laughs> and uh, we, you know, we'd be tense doing our little routine. All of a sudden, I let one slide, and oh, we'd crack up. They give me dirty looks, but after that, we were fine. <laughs> and boy, I felt better. <laughs> Yeah, no one, no one Google's blue shirt, brown pants guy. No, no, no. 
<laughs> so we're all the time. We have one guy on the team. If you barely touch him, he'll James will just jump off the floor. So I wait until he's jumping. out there dancing. And I've learned to duck because he'll come around and hit you. And I'll poke him, and he just flies. You know, and people get tickled at it. He he's out there shaking his fist uh -huh. at me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear a helmet. That's right, yeah, yeah. But we love to have fun with each other, and that's what it's all about, you know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're just ourselves. I'm like, people can take us or leave us, but we are who we are, and we've not changed any, you yeah. know. And, and whether, uh, if any of this had happened in the first place or not, we'd still be doing the exact yeah. same. If this ends tomorrow, oh, we'll still be dancing, you know. So, yeah. 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 We're going to ride it as long as it'll go. and it Might as well. You know, we've all stayed humble. And I told him, I said, do not let this go to your head. I said, I'll beat you. <laughs> I don't I, like the fact that you're still, you know, working in the factory and everything. That's just like, that's, that's awesome work ethic. And it's admirable because, you know, most people would be like, as soon as they saw a few grand come in a month, they'll be mm. like, Phew. Out. Yeah, and the whole out. team works still. Nobody, I'm in the medical field myself, and uh, we have, my husband's a roofer, you know, so everybody's still doing what they did. We have some people, well, my husband's actually retired roofing, but, you know, they're still doing what they were doing. Yeah. Kids in school. Like, yeah, teachers, uh, truck drivers. Yeah. What is it you do in the medical field? If you I'm a medical that. scribe. So I've been in a medical assistant, okay. a medical transcriptionist, medical scribe. So I've worked in office, and now I work out of my home. So okay. for doctors, yeah. So and I love Very, it. But I agree yeah. with you, you know, with COVID and stuff, I saw a lot of things myself, you know, as far mm -hmm. as reading things and it was sad, you know. Oh, and absolutely. some countries are even they're still sort of locked down pretty mm -hmm. tight because I've had people from other countries type me and say, We look forward to seeing what you all are doing because we still are restricted. So mm -hmm. you know, some of them can't really get out and they said they're bright Part of the day is seeing what we're doing this time. You know what outfits we're wearing and what good. Oh, absolutely. Doing, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Because like when I when I went off on my hiatus for a year before I went back um, in January as a, a medic. Um, when I left, you know, they were wanting you to wear gowns and spacesuits and all this, yeah. <laughs> all that crap. And then um, now, you know, I'll go into a hospital, take a patient in. You know, they don't have to wear a mask and they don't have to. And people are just smiling and yeah. like you would think someone told them they can wear shorts every day to work. You yeah. know what I mean? They like, were just happy to be able. I know yeah. when the airlines, uh, when, when was it when we flew to, was it Utah? Wherever we were flying to, they had mm -hmm. got rid of the mask requirements. Mm -hmm. It was somewhere. And yeah. the airline people were telling it they were happy. The stewardess, they Very. were happy. They were just like, you don't have to wear the mask now. Because everybody was over the mask, you know. They want to see people when, you know, Absolutely. talk. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's, it's just wild. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things, like, we take so much for granted. So... Yeah. Until you don't have it, until you don't have, you know, you just not wear a mask, right. not go give hugs. Until you experience that, you don't really enjoy it as much. You don't, you don't really realize like it's a blessing to be able to do that stuff. Same thing with like if the electricity goes out, you know, you don't realize how much you depend on, you know, even though it's, it's out, gone. you're still flipping that light like, oh my goodness, you know, it's it. <laughs> but you know, a lot of times we do take things for granted. So, oh, it, and we don't want to take nothing for granted what we're going through now. And I'm just thankful for my whole dance team. You know, we're, yeah. we're a family unit and just really sticking out there with me because in the beginning I was just overwhelmed for at least, I guess, all of last year trying to keep up with yeah. everything. And it's well, been, you know, kudos for you, like reaching out to people, to experts and getting what you need in place to keep rising yeah. yeah and then learning more yeah and that's what you know because i'm i'll be what what will i be 56 this year i had to remember <laughs> you know so i You're knew still young. i knew some technology you know facebook uh -huh. and i i do computer you know with my uh medical work but all this other stuff was just far to me well, and i Twitter, understand Instagram. enough of it now to be dangerous you know i have people helping me but um right we're but learning. it was overwhelming. It really was. There's so much out there that I didn't know existed. Yeah. You know, and it can be good stuff. You know, we've had some odd stuff pop up on our feeds, no, and I'm yeah. like, oh my goodness, they do this. You know, it's like, okay, <laughs> delete. 
<laughs> surprise. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah that like I mean, in, in the more fame you get, the more you're going to get at that. Yeah, <laughs> just, you know, it's, it's hilarious. You know, like, okay, whatever. <laughs> What a, you know, it cracks me up because you went live on TikTok, Zeb, the other night, yeah. and I was watching, and um, you went live with some lady, I think, from China or Japan or something. Yes. And that just, like, I was like, this is so freaking cool. Yeah. Because, you, you know, you were talking to her, and she was just like, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> It was just, it was... That was cool. You said that was like the first time you've done that? It was the very first time. I, I said I love to talk with people, but uh, when it's face-to-face, -face, that's one thing. But when you have to actually accept who's uh, asking to be, you know, that's trying to invite themselves on, you never know what you're going to see on the other end. Uh, <laughs> so I, I took a chance that one time. And it was, you know, I had no idea what to ask or never done it before. But I'm hoping on the next slide to... Uh, the idea I have, typically I'll just dance for a little bit and I'll look at the comments. Uh, uh -huh. I'm hoping to go live and actually ask people to join to show me their favorite uh, moves like to dance to. Okay. Yeah, that way I can show them mine, they can show me theirs, and I, I think that'd be a lot of fun. That would, especially when it's from like other nations. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and, that's uh, different okay. music. And We're hoping to, to go eventually and visit different countries maybe That'd you be know a lot of fun. um so we're looking into that because they you know it's going to happen it's, it's yeah. just a we matter of time on. and we're big on our veterans and special needs uh, that's the two that we've always supported as a dance team love my vets you know so we're Elders. thinking about doing yeah yeah and we were just in cherokee north carolina mm -hmm. and we did uh, the big rainbow and ramps festival with the elders out there the cherokee okay. Indians, yeah good evening and, yeah they're they're amazing people. They have their own uh, traditional footwork that they do too, and um, and there is a little bit of resemblance in some of the moves yes. that they do with our Appalachian dance. Yeah, we've actually wow. circled up with them and done their dance, and they've danced with us, so it's been really fun. That's just yeah, that's wild. Combining that's cultures, wild. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what we're all about. Yep. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm still like fan moment over here like oh my gosh it's uh it's come on. But, <laughs> oh you're perfectly fine it's, it's i just I, I can't i don't know i can't thank you enough you know for you're, doing what you're, you're doing welcome. you're welcome being who you are because it just it's going it goes further than you guys know further than i know i mean it's it's crazy i, I think it was in the words of uh, mr uh R rogers, rogers. Uh, he, he said once, or once said, uh, the best thing that you can ever give the world is your honest to goodness self. And if people can't accept you for you, uh, just move on, I guess. I mean, right. it, it is what it is. Yeah, and yeah. we are who we are. And my dance team's made up of some of the most fun-loving people. Oh, they're, they're great people. people. You know, people from all walks. That's one the beauty of it. Um, we come from all political, religious backgrounds, all that. When I started the team, I said, you know, Leave that all at home. Mm -hmm. We're coming together for fellowship uh, to keep this dance alive, and we've, we've, we've done it. You know, the rest of the stuff, it doesn't matter. I respect everybody, but I said we're here, you know, for a Hesitate. common goal of togetherness. Yeah. And it's worked. You know, we've made it work, and I hope it continues that way. Well, if you, I mean, you have good hearts and common interest, and I feel like just with that, you can set all whatever differences aside. Right, and, and yeah. And thrive yeah. on what you do have in common, and yeah, yep, that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. Now, hopefully, I can make it down there and uh, see if we can do a little line dancing. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll do yeah, it. yeah. Come on down and just like I said, once the website gets up, we'll we'll promote it, and it'll have all the dates listed for the whole year. Okay. Um, we just put out a little bit at a time right now, mm -hmm. um, but the website will have the whole thing, even with the buttons, if there has to be a ticket, and a lot of things are free events, too, so right. it'll it'll have all that. Very cool. Well, if you ever need anything, like video, if I, I'm, I'm sure you get like a million people reaching out to you, <laughs> just, uh, because you're so, con you are, you are sick, you're viral, you're sick, because you're contagious, you're so contagious. <laughs> But I'm sure, like, you get this all the time. But 
yeah, I would create content all day. <laughs> oh yeah, well we may definitely take you up on that because yeah. we oh, absolutely. we're trying to get um, we can only do so much ourselves, but you know we there's sometimes we we would like to have a nice decent video of the team made just to having fun and and uh -huh. made into different reels or whatever. So yeah, so. Well, I mean, you can sift through my videos online and, um, well, Global Media Enterprise is the, my company name, so a lot of them is under that, but um, I have, I do, like, I can't stick to doing one style of video. I like doing interviews for, like, healthcare marketing, but then I like doing exercise classes that are quick and flashy. And yeah. That, so that'd be something like with your dancing, tight shots, good music, right. yeah. Yeah. smiling faces. And yeah. So I like to do all that stuff. Yep. I'd and that's, that was my big coping me mechanism was, was photography. Um, and it started with a drone. Um, so I started just playing with a drone when I was in paramedic school. Um, I'd take a break from my clinical go fly the drone over Indianapolis, take pictures of Indianapolis, oh, cool. and then go back to my clinical. But that's how I got into photography and videography. And then it just kept going. Yep. Kept going. <laughs> if you enjoy it, do it. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. And the people you meet. Yep. Like if, 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 you know, if I didn't go down that rabbit hole, would I be here talking to you right now? You know, it's, so yeah. it's, if you start thinking about if you start connecting the dots, it's it's just like wow. We thought the um, same thing. It's like, do I do we try this viral thing? Do I stop it? Uh -huh. Do I let it go? Will it hurt the team in some way? Will it, you know, because my team's not a dollar sign. My son's not a dollar sign. Absolutely. And as things come to us, we look at it and say, well, is this something that it. we want to do? Is it fall in line with what we are about? And mm -hmm. so we make those decisions on every single thing that comes up to make sure, because we don't, we don't want it to change us. We, we just are who we are. And you see so many Absolutely. things out there where people do change and I don't want that to happen. Oh, you're, yeah, they, you know, they, you guys, I mean, I would say keep your feet on the ground, but you don't get your dance. Yeah, we, <laughs> but, but you do see that with, with popularity because you, they, you know, a lot of, um, famous people get into that rut, um, not really rut, but that, you know, all the shiny stuff's here. So it's really easy to go down that path yeah. of, uh, following the shiny stuff and yeah. forgetting, forgetting how you started. Right. And, and we started, you, I, I can yeah. definitely tell you're not, I can definitely tell, you know, like you said, if it all ended tomorrow, we'd still be in the garage dance. Yeah, we dance. Well, we started out with what, six, eight people 14 Maybe. years ago. <laughs> you know, my husband and I funded the team probably for the first eight years and we just kept it going for the love of dance. My people take off work to come dance, you know, anything I ask of them. And so we, it was from the ground up and, and it was hard work. And I think, I think we know where we came from and we have that mm -hmm. just instilled in us. And I think it's not going to change us whatsoever. We're going to be who we are, you know, and we worked for it really hard and uh, just spreading the love and joy. That, that's, that's really what we want to do. My husband's always said if he could put a smile on somebody's face and he's no, he, he's There's done his job. Yeah. 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 Well, all of you definitely <laughs> have, <laughs> all of you definitely have. Well, but, thanks. Well, I definitely appreciate this. Oh, you're welcome. Awesome. This was like on the bucket list. And then, you know, um, Zeb, you got on TikTok. So I'm like, well, I talked to mom last year. But I didn't want to bug you because she was like, oh, it'll slow down. So maybe you know, yeah, you'll have time. <laughs> and then it just like, woo. Um, yeah. And now we've got, you know, we took April off, like I said. So we're, and except for Zeb, he will be in a couple of weeks there opening up for Brantley Gilbert at that, or Brantley mm -hmm. Gilbert. I always say the name wrong. Yeah, and we we BG. got stuff out. Yep, there you go. Yep. Everybody just calls him BG. BG. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Works so it's, it's exciting. You know, we're going to actually be on vacation in Pigeon Forge, my whole dance team, um, relaxing, but he's going to uh, go down there and do that in Tennessee. It should be a good time. Yeah. yeah just, oh. uh, hopefully uh, meet a lot of people, meet some fans, dance, smile, repeat. Yep. And then you you got to see Kane Brown. Kane, he's yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, so I had actually got an invite from a country band called uh, Low Cash. Uh, so they asked if uh, 
Uh, we tried to get together last year, but things kept coming up, so we finally got together this year. And I asked if I would like to join them on stage for their last song of the night. I was like, sure. So, you know, they were doing their thing. They told me to hop on, and it was a great time. That place was sold out, too. It, I bet it, there were 30,000 people there. I mean, it Probably. was awesome to see all the lights on the cell phones, you know, going back and forth. It, it was definitely uh, a great time. We took lots of pictures, got to meet some great fans. So, yeah, I loved it. Wow. That's just so cool, man. I just And, uh, and Lowcast, they even, uh, uh, we actually went backstage with them, so we got some pictures, got to talk with them. And uh, last year, uh, they had sent me one of their shirts, and I had sent them back some of my shirts. Uh, I actually wore the shirt that they sent me, and I, and I actually signed the back of it for me. So I've seen that. It's on it's video. Cool experience. Yeah. Wow. That's just, it's so cool. I mean, it's been amazing, like, following you up until now. I can't wait to see what happens I know. this We're year. Uh, we, we are too, because, you know, we've, we've been surprised every time. So we're just looking forward to see where it goes from here. Yep. I just keep climbing. Well, I tell you what, like, it's like a tremendous honor to be talking to you. You as well, sir. Me too. So I appreciate everything you're doing. Well, thank, um, thank you. Let us know when this comes out too so we can link. We'd love to watch it. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I plan on so I plan on taking a lot of bits and pieces of it, um, but if you don't mind, I would like to just publish the whole thing together as well. Okay. Yeah. On on social media, if you if you'd like the whole interview. Yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. to me. It's fine yeah, by that's me. fine. Yeah. I don't think any of us cussed or anything. I don't think I need nope. to cut anything out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. So, mom's mom's behaved. So I have, I don't have to edit I have. anything. I'm pretty high strung myself, so <laughs> I think I'm more high strung than them together. <laughs> 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 but, yeah. That's great, but yeah, that'll be fine. Well, do what? Yeah, that's fine. Just let us know whenever it comes out. And, oh yeah, I'll yeah. tag in it and everything. But yeah, just. Keep doing what you're doing, man, because we'll do this is just, uh, this, this is amazing. So we'll definitely, I'll definitely look at the dates on social, and then I'll look for your website when it pops up. But, um, yeah, this ain't the end of this. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be there with cameras and whatnot. And okay. Maybe look, we'll do some team interviews. But be looking forward to seeing me line dance, because I'll, I'll try it. Yeah. yeah, I haven't done it in a long time, but yeah, give it a you shot. Still got it's it. fun. Yeah. Now I don't know about I don't know about the clogging part and not in the you know the ankle bends and all of that. We'll teach you. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> if not, do you guys have a nice hospital and trauma center down there? We do. <laughs> I can, yeah, I'll take you the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Bring my own splint. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could talk to you guys forever, but eventually you got to eat. Eventually I got to eat. That's what I was going to say. Me and my husband are going to run and eat, I think, in a minute. And then we've got a um, shout-out video that we got to mm -hmm. do for the baseball game coming up in July. So we got to do a little reel on it. Okay. For, yeah, for Always Illinois. Always something. I know. That's a good yep, thing. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, just thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, because this is, You're this very is well. really cool. So. You're welcome. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in person at one of these events soon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And if, yeah. If, man, whichever one you're coming to, just give us a text message or okay. email. So yeah, just yeah. give us a heads up. I'll let up. you know, and I'll be looking forward to it. All right, that sounds great. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, y'all. You as well. Take care, Kevin. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> you, you too. too. Bye bye.